Red tape has delayed the start of the Ralph Rangnick era, so Michael Carrick continues in the hot seat tonight. The German is restricted to a watching brief. A first home win in five is top of the agenda for United. Yeah, I'm certainly sure, Stuart, that this will be his first game he's seen live, but it won't be the first game he's seen this season. I'm sure he'll be studying, and this he can see firsthand against a very energetic Arsenal team what he's going to implement when he takes the reins. Well, United make three changes. Juan Bazaka and Matic both have injuries. Bailly drops to the bench. Delo starts in the Premier League for the first time this season. Maguire is free from suspension, and Ronaldo is restored to the lineup. And there's a 100th United appearance tonight for Bruno Fernandes. Yeah, and let's hope we can mark that with a goal, Stuart. We, we really desperately need him to get back on that goal trail because he's been fantastic since he's come to the football club. But they just dried up for him a little bit, and no surprise to see him reinstate both the captain and Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, for Arsenal, after a terrible start to the season, seven wins from ten has taken them right to the brink of the Champions League places. Saka, though, is only fit enough for the bench, so in comes Martinelli for a rare start, and Elneny starts in the Premier League for the first time this season. He's preferred to Lukonga in midfield. I'm surprised at the Lukonga switch, especially because it looked like he formed a really, really solid uh, midfield partnership with Thomas Partey, but obviously, Mikel Arteta has got other ideas. And, yeah, who'd have thought Arsenal losing the first three games, first game of the season to the, the new boys, Brentford, that now is not really too much of an eye-opener, although it was at the time, but fair play to them. They have bounced back, and, you know, with a win tonight, we hope it doesn't happen. They could be in the Champions League places. We need to avoid that at all costs. No to discrimination, no to racism. That's the message at Old Trafford. United Arsenal... A titanic fixture in the Premier League era. The years of pizzas flying and tunnel bust-ups may be gone, but there's always an unmistakable edge when these sides meet. Yeah, there is. It's never going to go away. Yeah, we've not got the, the titanic battles of your, your Keys and your Vieiras and your Nevilles and your Obermars. But, listen, it's still going to mean just as much to these players, or it should do, and it's so important for Manchester United that they get off to a, a quick start. They get the ball away. A dangerous effort from Amiang there, which... Blocked. And that's a rather unsteady start for Manchester United. Yeah, at the stretch for then. Uh, Bamiang, but you don't want to give him the ball anywhere around the area. Gave the ball straight to Aubameyang. Fortunately, Ali Maguire was there with the block. Martin Odegaard, the clever Norwegian. He's going to take this corner kick. I think Marcus Rashford was back there with the final touch. It was. It's a really good corner. And <laughs> he's lucky because I don't think he knew much about oh, it. He did. Got a slice that yeah. for the net. Easy. Smith Rowe this time from the left hand side. Deeper this time. Headed away, Odegaard. It's going to be another corner. Yeah, it's not the ideal start. It just goes to show you what a misplaced pass can do. Third corner on the bounce. Stratford then, though, getting right behind Manchester United after. It's one for Andre Mariner, VAR to sort out with his new team. Half time then, Manchester United won, Arsenal won. the lead but not by being pushed all the way back